Hey, what is up, BC homies? Haha, <laughs> switch it up here. We are going to be doing a another, I don't know, showcase on Azawa. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because I want to show off how you will play him as an SS because you do switch up your playstyle quite a bit when you are SS. Now, the main reason this is, is going to be based off which way you built him. If you went top left, top right, you're not going to build them in like the boss melty way. You're going to build them more AOE, control, switch, stancy. Now, when you have all three trees actually like accessed, here's the big thing, right? This this talent here, Am Ubush. No, I'm just joking. Ambush. Uh, yeah, this thing's huge. So you're going to want to go into your dagger stance. Stay in your dagger stance for about 60 or so seconds. And then switch into your counter stance or combat. Like switch your combat stance. And then signature with them, right? Now, the reason why I like this is because I'm going to go for a card on him to even improve this further beyond. And I think the... Uh, hmm, hmm. I might replace... This is the one of Piper Armor, right? I might keep that one, actually. I'm going to replace one of these cards. I'm not sure which one. Maybe Cami will go. Now that I have that dodge, I don't really need another set of Hyper Armor. But let me go into the card I want to get on him, right? I want to get this card. Dance with the wind. And the reason I want dance with the wind is because it, for this playstyle that I want to go for, I'm going to be utilizing this right here on top of what he gets. So whenever you do it properly, he's going to get a 90% increase in damage on his own, not including anything else, right? Now add another 40% on that, right? Just imagine. So the way this is going to work is you're going to build up your dagger bar. You're going to alt, and then you're going to switch your stance, get that 90% buff. And then you have 10 seconds to use your signature, which is going to be really nice for that 40% increase in damage and movement speed. You're going to use your signature to just straight up execute the boss. It's going to be really nice. Uh, originally, I was going to go for, uh, I was going to go for cold, uh, cold shot or whatever, but uh, I'm going to switch over and go for that one. Now, I think I'm going to, uh, I, I do think I'm going to replace Cami because at this point, I don't think I need the HP. I don't really want to replace Mastermind because this is going to have me utilize the ultimate quite a lot so I can do this fully. And I still need active cards. If I get lucky, I can get his active card. I will have probably five singles on that, but huh, my luck sucks. So I'm going to try to show you guys how this would play out if I can actually do so. So we're going to go into a Night Ops and run some Night Ops. Now the thing is with us running Night Ops, it's going to be... We're going to straight up murder this boss. I'm not going to lie. So we need to make sure we... I, I want to load into the other room so I can show you how awesome and effective this can be. Because this playstyle is not going to be for everybody. So careful how you... SS, if you go for the SS, it's, it's going to switch your playstyle quite a bit. You're not going to sigil anymore. You're going to ult into your signature. So I'm going to drop that. All right. So what I want to do is switch right into my... That, okay, now I'm in my dagger stand. Oh my god, we're doing so much damage so fast. I'm not going to be able to sack this. My eyes out a little built there. Alright, cool. Actually, did we get it? Alright, let me check you. Alright, I'm pretty sure we got it. So now we just wait. We're going to wait. I'm not sure if one of these shows the damage increase. Uh, it doesn't seem to be so. But we gotta wait a little while anyway. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. 25 seconds left on the clock. We're gonna drop this to like maybe 6 seconds? No, not 6 seconds. We're gonna drop it low though, All right? Now, what you're going to want to do now is after he does this, I'm going to pop it. You're going to want to switch your stance, watch the buff increase. 150%, right? 150%. He is going to die so fast off that buff. Now, now hold on. Before you're like, holy crap. Now, what I want to do is try to hit that to 200% and just make it even more dumb. So, Dance with the Wind is going to be how I do that. This, this, that buff increase is disgusting, and if you ever need someone to kill someone in a raid because raid bosses have pretty thick hp there is probably no better character than oh this is perfect than aizawa now there are going to be people who say what about ida yes ida is good and against boss fighting he's one of the best but sometimes boss have bosses have mechanics where Ida is going to struggle because he's got to like keep hitting the boss over and over where aizawa he's just got to build his bar up chill and wait for the boss to be exposed and then you you just execute them like you execute order 66 their ass right it, it's pretty awesome i like this play all, uh play style quite a lot i think it's probably my favorite play style in the game to have this big single target alt that just dumps like dumpsters the bosses uh, is he going to be the best in pve um it's hard to say 
Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, well, fuck. Like, well, I guess we'll just compare the differences. Oh, I mean, I, he's immune, whatever. But, uh, I don't know why auto is that turn on. I wish there was a way to turn off autos at all times. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, really interesting to see what kind of damage you can do to a boss with Aizawa when you fully build his ass. Alright, are we built up again? Do one more, two more hits. I don't want to drop him too much. Alright, we'll do it right there. I think we're built up again. We'll hit him one more time. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna wait here a second. I I really wish they would throw like we have these icons or whatever, right? Twelve percent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. twelve. Uh, is that gonna keep going up? Plus sixty. So do I have to hit him? Forty-four. So we just beat it. All right, stop. What am I at now? Ultimate recovery. Yeah. Uh, we, we definitely didn't, like, we're definitely here long enough, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap him. Switch stance. Alt. Uh, I couldn't tell how much damage increase we got, but we're gonna find out. Oh, he's only at three bars out. Like, he, you just saw that, right? That was 150k off of one tick. Just off of one tick. Just, boop, dead. <laughs> like the, okay, so the, the, I think it's like seven or eight times, I think, right? He can almost do a mill off his ult. Well, he will do a mill off his ult when I fully build him and I get that uh, Dance with the Wind on him. It's going to be disgusting. Ple oh, I was hoping. But yeah, that's how, you, that's how you're going to play Zawa now. You're going to just... This is like this is like not going to be for everyone. It's going to be really trolled for some people, but having an insta-kill button in your squad might actually be a way to run raids just because people struggle. Well, I can't say everyone, but a lot of players are going to struggle with the raid because they don't know what they're doing. And having this Asin, like, on your team that can just kill the bosses for you, even without, like, those buffs, right? Like, at the beginning stages, Aizawa is going to be so handy just for those beginning stages alone so you can build up. All right, I'm going to turn off this before you alt. All right, we're going to keep him there. Uh, we're going to chill around for... We're going to watch the timer, right? 42 seconds. We're going to chill here for, like... Most of that. What's he dying by? Uh, we're gonna chill. It, it does take a second. I, uh, you should be hitting him. Like, hitting him is probably ideal. But, like, I do so much damage that hitting him is, like, the worst thing I can do, right? Uh, we'll let, we'll let the thing drop to, like, maybe 10 seconds and then we'll do it. We'll net him and then just completely annihilate him, right? Is this it? This won't be the full buff, I don't think. So we're gonna... Uh, that was that was not a wrap, so I'm gonna wrap him. If I can get the distance off right there, switch dance, signature, and then execute. 100k, I think that was on the side. It wasn't a crit, but it, uh, <laughs> but it hit hard. It's really hard to show you because every boss in this game is weak. I might actually have to go to an Operation X and like try it out an Operation X. That's one of the higher level ones. Like maybe the most recent one I just beat, Chapter Seven, and see how much easier it would have been if I would have done this. Originally, right? I wish we could get the big boss to show up. Like, Noma would be a good target to try it on. Because his health is actually decent. I, I have the 25% increased uh, buff on it. But, like, my as I was too built, like, for this. Like, this is now a joke for all my characters. Even my unbuilt ones can do this. So, we're going to run up. Switch our stance. Oh, that's not the stance. That's the stance. Build it up for 60 or so seconds. Like, honestly, 30 seconds is probably fine. During raids, you probably you might as well just build it up as far as you can get it, right? Turn up auto. I'm trying not to kill him. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right there. I, I'm gonna stop. Kill, yep. We're gonna let this timer... Trip t like, he's killing himself. That's not... What is he dying by? The ball in his gut is killing him. <laughs> the ball that I put in his, like, belly button is killing him. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to drop you that low. We'll wait another 10 seconds. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. We're gonna wrap him and do it. You wanna wrap him so you do hyper armor damage, like... Boom. Switch stand. Do this. And then execute. 88k right there. Wasn't crits, but you get the point. It does a lot of damage. It's hard to show you on like bosses that are like so extremely weak to this. But that's how you're gonna play him now. Whenever you unlock that bottom right path, hit your playstyle becomes more of a I'm gonna one shot you and there's not much you can do about it. Also, I don't wanna like did you notice like this this is what you get for the SS. You get those goggles hanging off and it's like wraps. It's really, really cool.
We just thought I pulled it up. I thought it was pretty cool. Can we get a boss to pop up? Yes, we'll do one more. Well, if we get this guy to pop up the top, and then we'll we'll, we'll do that and we'll wrap it up. It's hard to like show, do this showcase when the bosses are so 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 squishy. All right, let's do this, and then after this, we don't get Nomu. I'll go to the breakdown and explain what's going on and why it's happening again. So let's switch his dance. Nice. Also, when you get SS, he's gonna have an extra like chance to press his like dodge, I guess. Like, so you don't really need to shield up because it's have to be like you'll just be dodging all over the place. I don't want to. That watch how much damage that ball is. It like, but I was rude. Here. Yep. I'm gonna wait for this to actually like take down to like eight minutes. Well, I don't need like eight, eight minutes, but like, uh, probably into like eight forty, I guess. Because this is built. I just want to see if I can one shot twelve. Of this. If I crit, it's gonna be amazing. Um, chillin', 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. What is that? 907, 906? We'll wait a few more seconds. We'll wrap him up, and then probably... we. I don't know. If we crit, we should kill him. So we're not... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Not bad. The distance sometimes is a little wonky. Which dance? Do this. Like, look at Zelda bar. And then we execute. Oh. <laughs> 30k off of that hit. <laughs> Alright, guys. That was awesome. I wish I could do it on a hit me with a bigger health bar, but like... Oh, that's not all my shit. I already have more. But like, it's really hard to show like how powerful this mechanic really is. The longer you wait, the stronger you get. And if we're lucky, we'll get a thing to open up the top here. No. Alright, we'll go to the breakdown. I'm gonna explain what is happening and why this is so dumb on the Azawa. Uh, like this is this makes him the most like I know the the the, the argument is like I eat uh, I mean Ida is the best single target character not anymore not in all content anyway. Azawa is not going to be limited to bosses mechanics. He's going to be the best for everywhere. I now Ida is going to be great and uh, like like the swamp monster and like whenever you can just not have to worry about iframes or like characters that don't, like, the bosses that immune themselves, Ida will be fine, right? But as soon as you get one of those bosses that have, like, those immune phases or whatever, Ida's going to not be as consistent as Aizawa. Aizawa is just going to be Ida across all the platforms of every boss, because you're not, you don't have to rush, right? So let's go into his skills. Uh, I, I swear I upgrade this every chance I get. Oh, it's expensive, that's why. It makes sense. So, yeah, okay, so I guess one more upgrade to max it. Okay, so... What's, wait, we need to go to his talent tree. Alright, so, we're gonna break this down. What is happening, and why is this happening? Well, let's go to the left one. Alright. When a character... Okay, so... Counter combat, combat etc. Like, long-range binds. Uh, you're gonna increase your crit rate and crit damage by 1%, right? Right? Really important. This one is more so, like... You just kind of, like... Here's another important one. Um... Counter strategy, uh, the perfect snare, uh, strangle increases damage dealt by 36%. When the enemy's HP is lower than 30%, increases to 90%, right? If perfect snare strangle fails, damage will only be increased by 18%, right? So crit rate, crit damage, snare damage increases your damage when they're snared. And then let's go to the big boy. All right, so I've already explained this at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to try to make it to where you understand. You want to go into your ambush stance. And just sit in your ambush stance. Do your basics, do whatever you can, but don't switch out of your ambush stance. You want to get 60 stacks, right? And now the way the stacks work, I think it's one stack for every second. So you need pretty much one minute on the field is when you have your max stacks. Do you need the whole minute? No, I think 30 seconds to 40 seconds is fine. It's going to be just fine. If you're doing a raid boss with a lot of HP, you might as well just do the full 60 seconds, right? Especially if you know if they're going to have iframe coming up. And then like other places like Operation X. You could probably utilize the 60 seconds and probably one-shot the boss. All right, so whenever you do that, right, you're going to be gaining these stacks called of sharpness, right? So whenever you switch your stance, Azawa gains the attack bonus of sharpness stacks by 1.5, which will last until he gains the same effect again. So you pretty much get the ability to one-tap anything that's looking at you with the, with the signature. So what I'm going to do whenever I do this, because I'm going for that card, the... 
Uh, help. I'm gonna be going for this card, right? <laughs> Add an extra 40% damage for 10 seconds. Like, this card is gonna be really broken on Aizawa, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is run that with that, and then stack the multiply the damage even more. And then I'm gonna probably remove Kami, right? Because I like Mastermind and Unconscious Monster a lot. These they were really good cards. And then I'm running his card, right? 12% just across the board. Is there better? I mean, uh, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna wear this because I have it. But if I ever upgrade it in the future, great. Uh, you could also, if you don't have this, you could run the... Honestly, like, there's a lot of options. I know it says recommended. It's like these two. But if we go to the actual, like, list or whatever... Oh, wait, what am I doing? So, cards that you can run on Aizawa are going to be... Honestly, there's a couple options. Let me just go find them. You have this one, Cold Shot. Cold Shot will be all around because it's going to increase your crit rate. I think it's pretty solid. You have this one. I think this one's slept on. Increases your character's penetration. If they have, uh, like, if you just wrap them and then use this, it's going to add on top of the wrap. Really, really solid. That's two options you can use instead of his actual cards. Uh, once again, you have Dance, no, Dance in the Wind, you have Nomo, you have Mastermind. I, those, like these right here, these four, four to five cards, one, two, three, four, five, are like all good. They're all amazing. Now you might be thinking, okay, what if you're, what if you're having trouble, trouble living or whatever, right? I like Kami. Uh, I like Kami a lot. Uh, I think Kami is a good shield card for you. you if it would say you're a new player and you pull Aizawa because you like him, and you don't have Kami either. What could you run instead of Kami? Well, I used to run, actually, where is she at? Midnight. Because Midnight would heal you. For Well, you, you want a level 2 one for sure. But uh, I don't know where mine are. Probably at the bottom. Boop. So uh, let's see if I can find a Midnight. Right here. So, okay, so the way this works is, like, when your HP drops below 30% HP, if you use your signature or your special... You can a full heal yourself with this card. It's really great, right? I replaced it with Kami because she's got. I got a level three breakthrough Kami, which is going to give me a shield uh, equal to my HP by like fifteen percent or whatever, and also use my hyper armor. All around solid. I don't get hit that much. If I get hit, I just kind of suffer because he doesn't have life steal. But I'll make it work, right? He's a high skill cap character, especially if you try to push your like playstyle that way. And yeah, so I'm gonna rock a racer head. Unconscious Monster, Mastermind, and then Dance With Me. Or Dance in the Wind. Those are going to be probably the wombo combos that I run. And unless I pull other like cards to replace this one eventually. But this is just all around damage. So I, I don't really see the harm of it. Like wearing it. So that's what I'm going to do. Now for his ships, you're obviously like, for example, you're going to want to get Speed, Penetration, Crit, and then Crit Damage. And then Damage Increase. Like those are like your four, like five main stats. Uh, damage Increase. Crit damage, penetration, like, I have pretty decent chips. I want to get it to where I get speed on, like, maybe one other chip. Maybe I don't really need it. I don't really know. It's fine. But that's how I would do it personally, if I were you. And you wanted to go for the SS Aizawa and play that style of one shot, right? And once again, it's a little weird. You're going to have to get adjusted to it, because usually you want a signature into your alt. This time you're going to want to alt, switch dance, signature, and then... Well, actually, you want to alt, wrap, switch dance, signature... And yeah, watch the damage go, poof, right? 60, they sit on the field for a minute and it's like, you're watching your teammates look at you funny and then you go in there and watch out the boss room and walk away like a badass. That sounds like a good time to me. So that is how you play the new Aizawa. Well, he, he, that's, that's how you would play the SS Aizawa. Now, if you want to go bottom right path right away, I would recommend you go bottom right and then probably upper left just for the crit rate. I don't know, all, all this tree, like there's not a bad tree, right? All these trees have their uses. Um, uh, depends, like, what you want to do. This one's got, like, bleed damage. Uh, what's this one do? This one gives you crit rate. Like, I, I honestly think his left tree and his right tree, like, just because of this right here, and then, like, these two with the crit rate are just, like, best, right? Like, these, this is good, too. I use this for, this is more defensively, so you don't die. Uh, and, oh, and also the, uh, your wrap, right? So, like, all his, all his trees are good. Like, I can't be like, this This tree is better than the other. All this tree is good. But if, but if you want big damage, you go bottom right, uh, then left. Th those are going to be your big damage ones. And then you will get your wrap eventually, and then you have to play your wrap. And, yeah, his whole kit is just, like, based around his trees. So, there you go, got, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys need another, like, I'm gonna do another guide on him, probably, whenever I actually find a tanky enough boss that can live for more than two seconds. So, yeah.
Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Josh, and I'm signing off. Peace.